off-roading. It's a rough and tumble adventure. And with 500 miles of dirt roads, Anza Borrego Desert State Park is an off-roading paradise. The park's most hazardous drop-off is a treacherous 60-degree slope aptly called Heart Attack Hill. And one thrill-seeker is about to take the plunge. With a spotter on hand to guide her, the driver begins her descent without her seatbelt. And then it happens. Could you survive this bone-crushing crash? Oh, my God. Get ready, because we're taking you back to the tipping point. If your vehicle was on the verge of rolling, what would you do? A, jump out of the Jeep before it begins to roll. B, brace your feet against the floorboards and lean towards the passenger seat. Or C, grip the wheel and steer away from the roll. Here's what you should consider. You're in a 4x4 Jeep. You're not wearing a seatbelt. And you're about to tumble down a steep hill. Only 2% of crashes are rollovers. But they account for 35% of all fatalities. More than 280,000 are reported each year claiming over 10,000 lives. And you're in danger of becoming one of them. Being in a vehicle during a rollover is like being thrown into a two-ton dryer on high. Drivers can be subjected to more than eight Gs in a rollover. That's more than military fighter pilots experience in flight, and more than enough to cause serious injuries. You only have a split second to decide. Think fast and make your choice. A. B. Or C. So what would you do?